Nigel Wright, Nigel Wright, Nigel Wright. Finally, Nigel Wright's name is being mentioned at the Mike Duffy trial. He, of course, is the former uh, bigwig in the prime minister's office who cut a personal check, or it was actually a bank draft, to enable Mr. Duffy to repay the expenses that the Senate said he had improperly filed for and been paid for. So today, there's this forensic accountant, Mark Grenell, who is in the stand, and his cross-examination by Duffy's lawyer began. Basically, uh, Don Bain, the lawyer, put seven propositions to uh, Mr. Grenell, each one of which was designed to portray M Mike Duffy as a sort of island being buffeted by forces greater than he was. He, his name, uh, he didn't cut the check, he didn't move the check or the bank draft, et cetera, et cetera. He just, it passed through his account and then he paid a check in the same amount to the receiver general, it's about $90,000. Actually, it turns out that according to the prosecution, Mike Duffy owed about $150,000 to the Senate in uh, allegedly improper expenses, but that's another story. Anyway, so Don Bain is cross-examining Mark Greno and he's, taking him through all these propositions, all of which culminate by him saying, you know, uh, it, it looks as though if, if you were Nigel Wright and you wanted to conceal it, this is how you'd do it, eh? And the forensic accountant said, no, actually, that's not how you do it. He says there'd be more layers, there'd be more attempts to hide or launder the, the payment, etc. And Mr. Bain didn't like that answer, and he said, well, you know, I." I didn't say he, he did it perfectly, Nigel, right? He didn't conceal it perfectly. Lots of criminals don't do their crimes perfectly. And the accountant said, I don't think this was done with the intent to hide because it should have been layered more. So interesting, uh, an interesting day. And as this last week of this part of the Duffy trial wraps up, we're on the precipice of actually getting to the Nigel Wright evidence, which will, won't happen until August now. So we'll have six weeks or so of torture to wait. That's it for the day.